welcome to my channel. My name is Skye. I am the owner of our online interior decor shop called House and Home. And I am so excited about today's video. We are going to be completely refinishing this piano that is right behind me and I cannot wait. We're gonna be adding some shiplap to it Yes, I said shiplap. We are going to be chalk painting it white and antiquing and distressing it. I cannot wait to add some character to this thing. So we found this piano on Facebook Marketplace for $50. We already have chalk paint and all we had to buy was some shiplap. So this project cost us about $75, which is amazing and it actually is pretty well tuned so eventually we're going to get it tuned but for now it sounds great it's in great shape this is a dream come true for us and i know that may sound really silly to some of you we used to be pretty musical my husband and i i played the flute and some piano growing up and my husband played the saxophone and the guitar. We just love music and we want to raise our kids to know how to play music. So we thought that the piano was a perfect start. This is something we have really dreamed up, honestly, since before we even had children. We just couldn't imagine, like at Christmas time, the house just filled with so much warmth, all of us sitting around the piano and playing at Christmas tunes together, singing and just enjoying each other's company and I'm so excited for that. It just feels so cool to have this finally come true and for us to be able to make over this piano. So I really hope that you guys will enjoy this and get some inspiration from it. And yeah, let's get started. Here is a little close up of the piano before we start taking it apart. We did decide to take some of the pieces that are larger outside to go ahead and sand and paint them outside. And we also did add some shiplap here, you'll see. We used quarter inch plywood. They are four foot by eight foot sections and we had them cut into five and three quarter inch strips. We used nickels as our spacers and then attached the boards to the piano with a nail gun. Then Chad just went outside and got to sanding. You do have to be really careful if you have cherry wood like ours. It does tend to bleed if you over sand. If that happens to you, which it did happen to us on one section of the piano, we went in with a shellac spray and that definitely just solved the problem for us so keep that in mind if you run into that issue just make sure you don't over sand so here we are using our chalk paint this is a valspar chalk paint um, unfortunately it appears that lowe's doesn't actually carry this anymore or we actually weren't able to find any more of it so we use the rest of this can on the piano you can actually look up several different recipes if you will of chalk paint it's usually plaster of Paris and paint and sometimes you'll find some other um, ingredients that go in there as well but we did run out at the very end and ended up just mixing a little bit of plaster of Paris with our regular off-white paint that we had and it worked perfectly it blended in so nicely here you can see the piano is just coming together so well I'm going in with a little watercolor paintbrush to add in the white paint right behind the keys and this was really tricky and a little time consuming the good news is that if you get any of this paint on your keys it wipes off so easily and even if it dries you can scrape it right off so i did come in with like a baby wipe at the end and just made sure that everything was clean but it looks incredible so here i am i've finished all of the paint and I'm coming in and distressing with my sandpaper. I really wanted to give this a rustic and antique look so I added quite a bit of distressing all throughout. You'll see a lot of the edges where I've added um, just little little bits of that wood to show through and I think it turned out so nicely. Once all three coats of paint 
had dried and we did a little bit of distressing, we went in with a clear wax. That just acts as a protective coat and is definitely important because we plan on using this piano a lot. Just in case you forgot what it looked like when we started, here is the before picture and here is the after. I am so happy with how this turned out. I think it just looks absolutely beautiful. I love the little distress touches on there, giving it that rustic farmhouse look. And it is just so bright. It really has brightened up this space. Every time I walk in this room, I smile. And music has been filling our home ever since we brought this in the front door. I am just so pleased with this. I really encourage you, if you have been wanting to get a piano, to venture out to one of those secondhand stores or apps like we did and um, just take the leap. I'm so happy we did this. I wanted to share on my ottoman right next to my piano, I recently got this prayer project book. It is a weekly prayer journal and I am loving it so much. I got it on Amazon, so I'll link it for you guys, of course, but it is such a practical, quick thing that you can do to stay in the word and just deepen your relationship with God. I also love my She Reads Truth Bible. I actually just ordered this. I've had this on my list for a while. I love the beautiful devotionals in here. It's got really pretty artwork and it has several different reading plans. And I'm just really enjoying it. So I wanted to share it with all of you. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this one and that you will hit that like button and subscribe to our channel so that you can see more weekly videos. We always have exciting things happening over here on our channel from decor hauls to decorating videos, DIYs, and everything in between. I look forward to seeing you all in the next one and hope that you have an amazing day.